I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of statistics for management. Here I am going to discuss you a smart passing package strategy which if you cover this topic surely you are going to clear the subject. So I will be making you the simple idea how to clear the subject because most of the students are facing difficulty in this subject. So it is very simple. So you please follow this strategy surely you can uh, crack the examination without any issue. So first in the sense you need to go for the introduction part of statistics. You should study what is statistics. It's a science of collection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. Uh, regarding the descriptive statistics, it's a summarized data, includes table, start, mean, etc. If I talk about the inferential statistics, it's a draw conclusion from the samples. That is called the inferential statistics. Population, what is population? Complete set of items. What is a sample? It's a subset of population. Quantitative data, numerical data, qualitative means non-numerical characteristics. These are the basic words you can expect. Similarly, functions simplifies the complexity, aids comparison, forecasting, and decision making. All that is all about the function. Then, regarding the limitations of statistics, uh, deals only with the uh, aggregates, not qualitative and misuse possible. There is a chance for misusing. What are the statistical software which are available? One is SPSS, Minitab, eViews, JMP, etc. So, you may get questions like what are the functions of statistics, what are the limitations, what are the statistical uh, softwares. Then most repeated question, define statistics and explain its scopes and application. That is one of the important question. Then explain the functions and limitations of statistics that you already discussed. Similarly, explain the importance of statistics in modern business. So these are the important topics like uh, from the introduction part. Later on, statistics and survey and data collection. So you may get a question about primary data, first handed data by the investigator, survey, interview, Delphi method, etc. Secondary data is nothing but collection by others, books, report, papers, etc. What is census? Entire population. Then sample survey, part of population. What is pilot survey? It is a trial run. Uh, the steps involves planning, data collection, editing, coding, tabulation. This is regarding the process of data collection. Okay, kindly go through these words. Probable questions are difference between primary and secondary data. Explain the steps of statistical survey. These steps you can follow. Similarly, uh, what is a pilot survey and importance? It's a trial run and you have to explain the importance. So regarding uh, classification, tabulation and presentation, the key concept you are supposed to follow like uh, what is a classification? Arranging the data into classes. What is tabulation? Presenting the data into tables. What is frequency distribution? Distribution of observation by class intervals. What is diagrammatic representation? For example, pi diagram, bar diagram, histogram, pol like a polygon, ogive. These are the different type of diagrammatic representation. Regarding the formula note, ogive which will give used to find the median and percentage. What is the purpose of ogive? So those things you have to remember. Distinguish between classification and tabulation. Draw the frequency, polygon and histo histogram. What are the requisites of a good classification? These are the important questions which is ever been. So regarding the important like a formula, measure the central tendency. There is a formula for computation of arithmetic mean, median, mode, geometric mean, harmonic mean. These formulas are very, very important. Okay. Kindly request you to study this formula accordingly. So make it out individually what is arithmetic mean. Sum of observation divided by number of observation. Like that median formula is available, mode formula, geometric mean and harmonic mean. Those things you have to uh, discuss. So next one is uh, regarding uh, like a uh, dispersion. Uh, there is a like uh, what is a range difference between maximum and minimum what is a qd q3 minus q1 divided by q2 it's a middle of 50 percentage variation what is mean deviation uh, similarly what is standard deviation uh, square root of x minus x bar the whole square by sample number of samples uh, it is reliable uh, used for reliable measure what is cd uh, like a, a standard deviation by mean into 100 so lower cv means more consistency so please do remember those things uh, compare mean, median and mode. You may get a problem also. Define standard deviation and its uses. Define the coefficient of variation and significance. These are the important topics. Probability and probability distribution. What is probability? Likelihood of events. That means favorable cases divided by total number of cases. Conditional probability. Probability of A on B nothing but probability of A intersection B by probability of B. What is a Bayes theorem? Posterior probability formula. That is actually the working of Bayes theorem. So binomial distribution. Formula you have to remember. So it is used for the two outcomes are there. Then Poisson distribution. This is another formula for Poisson distribution. P e to the power minus m, m to the power z divided by x factorial. So it is actually for rare events, especially like uh, uh, how many number of accidents are happening in the air. So normal distribution, bell curve, mean is equal to, median is equal to mode. So that is a peculiarity of like a uh, uh, normal distribution. Similarly, study the central limit theorem with respect to normal distribution. State and prove the 
addition and multiplication rules. Explain the binomial poison and normal distribution with the help of numerical example. Regarding the sampling and estimation, study what is population, entire group, what is a sample, small part in the, inside the population. Sample is a subset of population. Population is a superset of sample. Sampling error, difference between the sample and the population. What is CLT? Sampling distribution tends to normal. That is called the CLT. Central limit theorem. Then point estimate, single value estimate. What is inter interval estimate? Range within the confidence level. These are the important key points you have to remember as a like uh, tips or what I can say. Tips for clearing the examination. General formula, standard error is nothing but sigma by square root of n. Confidence interval is nothing but x bar plus or minus z into se. Probable questions are defined population and sample. Explain the sampling method, random sample, stratified sample and cluster sample. This is most important. Define the point and interval estimate. So testing of hypothesis, study what is null hypothesis, what is alternative hypothesis, uh, choose set test. Similarly, significance level, then compute the test statistics, decide, reject and accept S0. Similarly, what is a set test? It is suitable for where there is a large sample. If the number of samples greater than 30, go ahead with the set test. If the number of samples less than uh, 30, go ahead with the t test. Regarding the chi square test, independent like uh, independence by goodness of it. F test is nothing but variance comparison, and we, we call F test as an ANOVA. Similarly, repeated questions are explain type 1 and type 2 errors. Difference between uh, one tailed and two tailed test steps in uh, testing the hypothesis. These are the most important questions which are given based on the repeated uh, frequencies. Then correlation and regression. So study this terminology. Carls, Pearson, then rank correlation, regression evaluation. Similarly, the repeated questions for these topics are define the correlation and its types. This is very important. Difference between correlation and regression. Uh, then compute Carl Pearson coefficient. You may get a numerical questions. These are the most probable questions. Uh, whenever there is a probable, like a numerical example, try to uh, study the equation properly, try to apply the formula. Then rank correlation formula also you have to remember. So regression equation. These formulas you have to remember by heart it. So another question is ANOVA, chi square test and F test. So formula is available uh, of o, o, like uh, O divided by E, the whole square divided by E. Uh, so uh, uh, this is very, very important. Then uh, F is the variance between sample by variance within the sample. Repeated questions are explain the applications of chi square test. This is a formula for chi square test. So accepting the hypothesis and rejecting the hypothesis can be done based on this. What are assumptions of ANOVA? That is also very important. Uh, steps for solving the size chi square problems. So regarding the time series and index number, from the time series, you will be getting the questions like write a short note on trend, seasonal, cycle, irregular, etc. So what are the different methods applicable for the time series analysis? Freehand method, semi-average method, moving average method, least square method. You may get a essay type questions. Regarding the index numbers, what is an index number you have to remember? Uh, similarly, symbol aggregate, weighted aggregate, cost living index. So these formulas also you have to remember. Uh, symbol aggregate is nothing but sigma p1 divided by p0 divided to 100. So probable questions, components of time series, methods of constructing the index number, what is, what is cost living index? So these are the important questions which is asking evergreen examination. Every type of examination you can see these kind of questions. So based upon the frequency and the number of uh, times the questions appeared, we have uh, 10 mass probable questions are available. One is explain the role and importance of statistics in the management. Very important. Difference between primary and secondary data. With the help of example, explain the steps of statistical survey. Describe different measures of central tendency with the merits and demerits. What it, discuss the probability distribution and the applications. Similarly, explain the steps involved in the hypothesis testing. Explain the correlation and regression analysis with the example. Even you have to add the equations as well. Discuss components and methods of time series analysis. So explain the construction and uses of index number. What is index number? What are the classification? Then explain the applications of chi-square test and ANOVA in management. So accepting and rejecting the hypothesis, those things you have to uh, mention very clearly with their suitable equations. These are the 10 probable questions. You never forget these kinds of questions. So if you are belong to the last minute preparation category, you prepare these uh, important topics, surely you will be having a great success. So thank you very much for listening to this video. If you have any queries, you can use the comment box. This uh, management, uh, like uh, statistics of management is suitable for almost all the universities in India and abroad. Kindly subscribe the channel for getting the similar kind of video. Coming video, I'm going to discuss with the question and answers based upon the important questions which I mentioned here. Kindly like the video if you found it is useful. Kindly share the video those who are preparing for the examination. Also give your valuable comments for the betterment. Happy learning. I wish you all the very best. You can prepare accordingly whatever I suggested. 
uh, there is no other issue. You can clear the subject without any issue. Thank you all.